Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, Shayna here, and today I have for you guys a tag video. Um, so we are doing the artist favorites tag, and this was created by the lovely Elm Colors. Um, I actually just started watching her videos, and she, guys, she's so talented, she's so good. Um, so yeah, go check her out, I will leave a link in the comments below. And I was tagged by the lovely Emma Colors 2020, so thank you for the tag, Emma. This was such a fun tag. So let me explain to you guys a little bit first, and I'm sorry my phone is going off. I always forget to put it on Do Not Disturb. Um, but she has five artists that she set for us to choose from and then five like a whole list of artists that we can choose from and you pick I, at least i hope i'm doing this right you pick your favorite book from that artist and then the favorite page in that book so this one is super duper fun and i am very excited to complete it i've seen quite a few people well not not a whole ton but a few people do this tag um so let me tag people before I forget. Let me think on this a little bit. I didn't, I hadn't thought about this. Um, let's see, Kathy, I'm gonna tag you. I think you might've been tagged by Danielle already, but I'm not sure. But Kathy over at Spicy Cat Colors. Um, trying to think of people who I haven't tagged in a while. Or who are new. Um, Tamara, I'm gonna tag you. Tamara's color coloring world? Tamara's world? Tamara's world, I think. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I have the worst memory this week. I apologize, guys. Um, so Kathy, Tamara, and Rosie. I'm gonna tag you, Rosie. I don't know, at Rosie's Crafted Colors, I don't know if you've been tagged already or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and tag you as well. Um, so yeah, I hope, well, you know what, just um, please hold. All right, guys, I'm back. I know that was no time for you, but I had to rewatch what I filmed because I couldn't remember who I tagged and I needed to write them down so I can remember to link their channels. Anyway, <laughs> oh, it's been a week, friends. Okay, so we will go ahead and get started. I'm gonna put my little post-it over there and I just smeared the ink from the little Mickeys that I drew while I was listening because I can't I have to have my hands doing something. Um, so the first artist that she wants us to choose from is uh, Johanna Bassford. So uh, you guys saw the flip through earlier this week and yeah, um, it's Worlds of Wonder. <laughs> I even looked through Inky Butterfly because that was my favorite, but this one is my new favorite. I also love the Christmas one, but that is so, it's so seasonal. Um, I had to choose this one instead. So the page that I chose, and this was, this whole tag was so hard because I love these books. And it was so amazing to go back through all of these books that I've chosen and do full flip throughs because some of them I haven't looked at in forever or I've just done like quick flips and I haven't really looked at the images. So thank you for this opportunity, Emma and Elm. Um, I'm sorry, I don't remember your first name. Um, there's fuzzies all over. Um, but thank you because this was so fun and I hope those of you that I tagged, you guys have even more fun um, doing it or if you've done it, that you had a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, and also, if you just want to do this tag, go ahead and do it. You guys don't need to be tagged. I give you permission. <laughs> um, let people come for me instead of you, but um, yeah. So just do it, have fun. So my favorite page in this book is this horse. Um, it gives me carousel vibes. I'm not sure why, because it's not a carousel. For some reason, I thought it was at first, but it's not. Um, I just think this horse is super majestic, and I feel like doing, and it might be a horrible idea, but like pastels on the horse, and then bold colors up top. So I was thinking like, because this gives me Japanese, um, I keep saying the word vibes, but, um, like aesthetic, that's a better word. <laughs> um, so I was thinking like reds and golds, but that would kind of clash with the pastels, I think. So I think if you did like 
pastel purple green pink blue and then just did bolder colors up here I think that would be really cool um and then I would probably honestly I'm like planning out this whole page <laughs> take like distress inks of in a color not just like brown and do it around the edges um yeah but we'll see you may see this in a color in chat one day <laughs> if I decide to take that idea and run with it so yeah that's my favorite page of Johanna Bassford and all of these are definitely subject to change one day if there's like a 2.0 of this who knows maybe in a year um my taste will have changed I you never know so the next artist is Kirby Rosanne's Kirby Rosanna's not sure how to say the last name um and that is world within worlds um which is his second to newest i don't have fragile world so i had to choose from this one well i didn't i have his other books too but this is my favorite and the page that i picked is the scariest page to me but it is this waterfall book page i just think this idea is absolutely amazing and i think it, i just saw this boat down here and that's hilarious um but it's like niagara falls of books um, and there is so much to color with all the books, but I love this image. Um, I love the shoe image. I love the dinosaur, the dragon eye, but this one is like, every time I see it colored, my jaw drops. It is so, so pretty colored. Um, but I, again, I just love the idea of the waterfall coming from like the bookshelves and the books falling. I don't know. Uh, excuse me there goes the phone again I just think it's really cool so that is that one I'll find a place I love these tags but they mess up my bookshelves <laughs> um anyway the next one is Hannah Carlson. So this is the only book that I own from her at the moment. I really love the new one too. Um, and the reason it's the only book that I own from her right now is because I didn't used to really care for her artwork. Um, but since this book, um, and seeing pictures done and things like that, I think my taste has changed a lot, at least related to Hannah Carlson. Um, because I adore this book and I really like the new one that she has out. Um, so yeah, and Soulmates, I really like that one too. So I might have to pick at least those up. This is my whip right now. Hopefully we'll be done ASAP. I do plan on working on this tonight, actually. But my favorite one is this one. I love the whimsy. I love the candy. Um, I just think she is so cute. But I'm kind of considering this a double page spread. As most of this book, I would consider that. Because um, even this one that I'm working on now, I plan to pull the colors into her. Um, but yeah, I just... I guess if I had to pick between the two, I would choose her. I just think she is so cute. And I think it was Color with Claire that did her. Or maybe it was Kirsty Color and Sketch. I don't remember. But she had like bright red hair and all these fun colors. And that's just kind of how I see her now. <laughs> um, so if I color her, I kind of want to do something different. I'd probably do um, some wild color hair though. Maybe bright pink. That would be pretty. Um, and then go from there. But yeah, I just think she is the cutest little thing in the world. She's adorable. So that is my favorite Hannah Carlson page. Um, the next one is actually Maria Troll, Maria Trolle. Um, and I don't own any of her books. So I cannot testify to that one. Again, it's a matter of taste. I'm just not super into her artwork. And that may change down the line. Um, I don't know. Who knows? But um, it did for Hannah Carlson. Um, but at the moment, I don't have any of her books. So that's that. Um, yeah. And then the last artist that she chose for us is Ari. And I chose World Heritage Travel. I actually think my favorite book of hers is Fairy Tales, but I don't have that one yet. Who knows? I might splurge soon. We'll see. Um, but kind of in relation to that, my favorite page in this book I think is this one <laughs> yes is this one and I'm tied between this one and which I know I shouldn't be saying this but and this one again more books but this one reminds me of Harry Potter and this one just reminds me of Disney so that's why this one is my favorite 
we've got Peter Pan and Tank over here. We've got Alice in Wonderland and then a random witch, <laughs> which mm -hmm. I just think is amazing. Um, so yeah, I could see even these being like Christmas trees. It's just like a mishmash of things and I love it. It is so cute. <laughs> so this is definitely my favorite page from Aries books that I own. So yeah, just I adore it and I think it would be really fun to color. But her books intimidate the crap out of me, so I'm very scared. <laughs> but yeah, I actually have one started in here. And I did not get very far, as you can see, because I was like, I don't know if I can ever finish this. Um, but this is all Prismacolor. That's why this paper is in here, so that it doesn't transfer too much. Um, but yeah, I think I will get back to it one day. Just not at the moment. <laughs> we'll see. We will see. Um, yeah. So those are the five artists that Elm Colors chose for us. I'm going to grab a sip of tea. And then she gave us a whole list of artists to choose from. Um, but we'll go ahead and start with my picks. So the first one that I chose mm -hmm. was Camilla D'Erico. Um, Hannah Lynn was on the list and I thought about, um, picking her, but I have all of her stuff on PDF, so I didn't want to go through all of that. Plus, there's so much of it, and I love all of it. It would be too hard to choose. So the next one was Camilla D'Erico, and love her cute and creepy book, don't own it. So I do absolutely adore this book. I looked at it forever and ever, and then I believe it was for my birthday, my roommate got this book for me, and I had not spoken a word to her about wanting this book or like even saying anything in the stores when we were there. Um, she just saw it and was like, oh, that's what I'm going to get Shayna for her birthday. Cause obviously she knows like color and stuff. So that was amazing. Um, and I wanted to do a full flip through of this book, but there's so many out there. And that was around the time when I was just inundated with flip throughs. So I didn't, but this is my favorite page. <laughs> Look how cute they are. They're first off, there's a guy. Um, which doesn't happen very often in coloring books, so that's cool. There are a few um, males in here, which is neat. And then also there's just a ton of hearts, and I love hearts. They're in the shape of a heart. Yeah, the heart's my favorite shape. I just think this is, this one is super cute. Um, I don't know if it would be my favorite to color, but I do think it is adorable. I just love the image of it. I also, <laughs> I can't, it's so hard to decide. I love so many pictures in this book, but again, this one intimidates me, but I also really love this one. <laughs> I just think it's hilarious. So yeah, I don't know why it makes me chuckle, but it does. It, I mean, it's a gorgeous image. It just makes me chuckle too. <laughs> so then the next one artist, the next one artist, the next artist that I chose was Clara Markova. Um, and I have a forever whip in here. That's why that paper's in there, which I guess I might as well just show you guys. Oh. I'll get back to it one day. I promise it's not that. It's this one. And I love how it's coming along. I'm just afraid to tackle the next steps. So I really just need to bite the bullet. But I have some pearlescent, um, Crayola pearlescent markers on here for the bubbles. So yeah, I wish I had done the background in hindsight. <laughs> I wish I'd done the background first, like the water. But at this point I've committed to doing everything else first so <laughs> there we are but yeah so that uh page I'm working on and I really am loving how it's coming along I'm just afraid to do the rest <laughs> but this one is my favorite page and I thought about doing this one first but now I'm glad I didn't I don't know why I just think this concept is absolutely adorable they're in little flowers that are a merry-go-round apparently I have a thing for carousels now um, my mom does, so I shouldn't be surprised. Well, she likes carousel horses. I just think um, they're so gorgeous. But yeah, this one is my favorite. It is so cute. <laughs> just look how happy they are. So adorable. And I've seen this colored in like all pastels. I've seen it done in bold colors. And it's always absolutely amazing. So yeah, this one's my favorite Clara Markova page. Again, my butt is, I love the holiday pages that are in the back here. That one's super adorable. Look at that mouse, he's having so much fun. There's a little bat somewhere. And then there's this double page spread. It's just so cute, I can't. So yeah, love Clara Markova's books. This is the only one I have. <laughs> so 
yep need to get more of those too all right the next artist is jade summer and i had to choose chibi girls 2 or 1 and 2 this is my favorite book ever um and i have quite a lot done in here hoping to get three pages done this month because they were all buddy colors that should have been done last month <laughs> but my favorite page in here i actually did color but i loved it before i colored it um and honestly i love it even more now i really like how this one came out but um I love like the Victorian era and stuff. So this image is just so cute. I just adore it. Um, I don't, <laughs> I also don't understand it. I'm not sure why there's a curtain there. Um, but yeah, I just love her dress. Um, and when I saw it, I wasn't really sure where to go. And then I started with pink and I was like, oh, yellow, pink and yellow. Um, love her little flowers. She's got some shiny gel pen on her. So yeah, I just really, really like this page <clears throat> and the next and I think that's the only one yeah that I have colored it is but that's okay um she did say you could do either um so the next book uh or artist that I chose and I was going back and forth because there were a few artists but I decided to look at a book I haven't looked at in a while I'm sorry Danielle because she gifted this to me and I haven't touched it or colored in it and I love it it is so pretty um it's fairy tales by Emily Lyde Hall Oberg and I think she only has two books at the moment, this one and then Sager Ox Sagner, which has not been in print for a very long time. I don't know if they'll ever bring it back. If they do, I'm gonna be trying to get a copy, but um, I, I'm not optimistic on that one. Um, and I refuse to pay the prices that they're offering on like Amazon, or not Amazon, um, eBay and stuff like that, no thank you. So, <clears throat> um, <laughs> This was a really hard choice because the more I looked at these images, the more I loved every single one of them. But this is definitely my favorite. Look at the little squirrel. <laughs> He's adorable. Um, I've seen this colored. I think I think this one was Kirsty Color and Sketch did this image. And I feel like she said she didn't care for it that much the way it turned out, but I loved it. Um, or maybe she loved it. I don't remember, but it is so stinking cute. He's all tucked in. He's got his little hands up. It's so cute. Um, and it just is like very fall. So yeah, love that one, but I love all of them. Look at the bunny. And then there was one back here. That one's so cute. They're, uh, this book is adorable. And I think that's why I haven't colored in it because I'm scared. <laughs> And the otters. I thought about this one too because I remembered this picture. It's so cute. So yeah. Um, definitely really love Emily. And if she has other books, let me know. I just don't know of any um, other than this one in Cyrox. And then finally, I chose to pick a Coloring Heaven special because I just can't well, you can see it on the edge layer. I just can't get this one out of my mind. Like, I love Frightlings, and the one... You guys will see a flip through of that sometime this month. I'm waiting for... Uh, this is off topic, but I'm waiting for my Coloring Heaven from this month to get in to do flip throughs. Anyway, um, love that book. It's super stinking cute. But this one just has my heart for some reason, and I think because it was such a surprise to me that I loved it... Um, that yeah, I just, her art, Sarah, this is Sarah Richter and her artwork is just stunning. Um, but if you're looking at the cover and the individual images, which one do you think is my favorite? I'm, I've said it before, so if you guys have been here a while, look at him. <laughs> I can't, it's so cute. Look at his little face, he's so happy. He's so cute. I know a lot of you guys don't like bats, but freaking bats. <laughs> Um, I love it. I love, love, love this image. So yeah, it was kind of a no brainer the more I thought about it. Cause when I read the prompt, it was like the first thing that popped into my head. Um, so yeah, I just think it's like the perfect cute and creepy mix on this image. Like his little bony fingers are really creepy, but look at his little face <laughs> and look at the bear. It's so cute. So yeah, that's my favorite image, but this whole entire thing is just absolutely stunning i love this page too because this one's super cute and there's a bat <laughs> and then i didn't really realize before that there were I, I maybe the pages were stuck together or something i'm not sure um but this very last page is also super cute look at the dragons 
So there's something for everybody in this book, I think. There's grayscale, there's beautiful women, there's men. Um, that was not a man, but you know what I mean. You saw one earlier. Um, fantasy, whimsy, I don't know. I just absolutely love, love, love this edition. And my little barren bat. <laughs> so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this was such a fun tag like i said before i just had a blast going through everything so thank you to elm color elm colors and emma's coloring no nope, emma colors 2020 um for tagging me you guys are the best and kathy rosie and tamara i look forward to seeing your videos thank you guys so much i love you all and i'll talk to you soon bye